We Spa, which is a hilarious name, letting the transgender um, customer, they just say, it, it's a guy still who still has genitalia. Uh, we can't dead name him on Twitter. YouTube, I don't think it matters. I don't know his name anyways. Guy with m- guy genitals in women's section of spa. Um, woman has problem with her daughter being exposed to a naked man in a hot tub, I believe, James, was it? Uh, yeah, it was a woman's only section of the spa. So um, that's that's really um, – w- <laughs> I didn't see too many details on it, but it's a woman's only section. It's like a changing, changing kind of section, stuff like that. So you were there. That was the day you got hit with a billy club, right? Yeah, it sucked, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, uh, and I'll, I'll break down kind of what's going down uh, about yeah. that if, if you'd like. Um, but uh, I – oh, quick quick shout out to myself actually. Um, you know, just got to keep it humble. Uh, we just we just did a video asking people if they support that trans uh, person's right to show their male genitalia in front of uh, women and underage girls, which were present. We'll dig into that in a second. We just did a video. I'm actually not sure if it's up on Newsmax's YouTube channel, but I'll be advertising it on my uh, social media platforms uh, as soon as I can. Anyways, so basically what was going on there, yeah, transgender uh, woman exposed her male genitalia to to women and underage girls. That's what happened. Cuban woman blew the whistle on this. And um, basically July 3rd, there was a massive gathering uh, of, of, actually it was a smaller gathering of conservative groups that showed up to uh, basically defend this uh, Cuban woman's right to feel comfortable in a change room without seeing a you know male organs uh, like in her face and her children's face, which seems reasonable. Uh, and pretty much what happened is Antifa, SoCal Antifa, other Antifa uh, Twitter pages and stuff, because, of course, they're free to roam on social media as much as they'd like and organize chaos on social media as much as they like. We can't say the same for any right wing groups, but they showed up with 150 or so plus uh, Antifa members, left wing people. I got video of them with their Antifa flags, stuff like that. And it was pretty much a major beatdown. I think as early as 9.45 a.m., they jumped the uh, conservative organizer. Antifa jumped the conservative organizer. Kicking the snot out of him. It was insane. Um, And a lot of the early people were, it seemed to be, from my perspective, religious people being pushed out, chased out. I have video of that that you guys can check out on my Twitter um, and they seem pretty peaceful. That was right when I showed up and pretty much right when I showed up is when things got out of control. I was maybe there for 10 minutes, saw someone flank me from the right guy chased after me, uh, with like a billy club. It was like a wooden club. Um, we danced around in the street a bit. He ended up smacking me as hard as he could in the back. It did not feel good. My muscles tensed up because apparently my body doesn't like being assaulted. And, um, yeah, it was, it was a miniature civil war, uh, right before, the 4th of July, and it was chaos, a right-wing group ended up showing up, and basically, they just duked it out in the streets. There were officers present, maybe about a couple blocks away, but they were just sitting by, because that's how Los Angeles works. It's it, Los Angeles, uh, they kind of have a stand-down policy uh, with their policing, and so do a lot of left-wing cities, and these people were beating the crap out of each other in the middle of the street. There were people stabbed, um, camera gear stolen from reporters, reporters jumped, uh, bloody noses. It was, it was insane. And, um, I was actually just stopping by to be honest with you. I wasn't even supposed to be there. I was, I was filming in Los Angeles somewhere else. I just stopped by to check it out. And, uh, I couldn't really leave because Antifa and everyone's beating the crap out of each other right in front of where I parked. So that was my, uh, July 3rd. <laughs> 